you, you know, you mentioned something just now. You said something about you realize you were reminding your mother of her failure. Were you thinking this when you were younger, after you've grown older? In between. Right. But it, it became more as a thing as I grew. So it's hard because I didn't grow up with her yeah. and she was really young. It was hard for me to say mommy mm. or mother. Mm. So I used to call her auntie. Like everybody else. It was hard because when I look at this is what, I grew up with an old woman that I'm like my grandmother's last child. Mm -hmm. You know how she has had children because I've stayed with her. The things that I can tell, talk to my uncles about, even my grown cousins cannot talk like that because me, I'm already in the house. I can say, no, we don't have food to do. Ah, uncle, you bring money. You bring money for us to buy stuff. For. Don't come and finish our food. Yeah. I'm that kind of child. I used to say my mind. One day they beat me really bad. Like one of my uncle came. He's always coming to eat in hours. Always eating. Uh -uh, you not drop any money. And you know, the food plenty like that. He'll just come to the house, just uh, open fridge. And he likes tomato and garden egg. He'll just be eating now. I just say, uncle, uh, every day you're coming here to eat, you're not even dropping money. Yeah. This my uncle was not a like, young, young uncle. He's that kind of uncle that even my auntie's that uncle they cannot tell him that kind of thing. And that day they were watching this series called Another Life. Mm. You know that grown up series that everybody used to watch? It would be quiet. And I said that to him. It's after I said that, I said, hey, I don't have that one chance. <laughs> Everybody just turn. Yes. Don't talk to me because we call So, yeah. I'm that bold child. I've never yeah. been afraid to tell anybody yeah. in my yeah. mind. Yeah. As we're feeling those things then, mm -hmm. you were speaking your mind. Or you I were was saying my mind. Somebody, who come, somebody who came to our house, I'm not going to call his name. Mm -hmm. His talking was smelling. I said, I'm going to take it outside. Because <laughs> it's timid. I was in this house. <laughs> in Idol, just a few yeah. days before like, you're winning. Just like somebody yeah. died the wrong time. Yeah. yeah. Like somebody died in the wrongest of time. Mm. Just a few days, wow, they just called me. It's my sister. My family, they don't, they don't have to miss what they used to tell you things like that. So for Lagos. No, I didn't tell anybody. And because my family, if you feel like it's here and they laugh at you, you'll be dead. <laughs> we can give you a guy name here as we're talking like this. You will follow and discuss you. <laughs> that kind of family that will yeah. be. So yeah. I don't tell anybody. So I said, I said, I said, I did something to say, ah, you did Lagos. Mama don't die. Just like that. That's how we give you this. You do this. She'll be okay later. I was having an interview. Right. I just stood up. And that's it. Then I came to home, I said, what happened? I said, my grandmother died. And I said, how'd you go? I need to do it again. <laughs> I said, I know they do it again. They said, no, you can't say that to people love you in the show. I said, I know they do again. I think they had to hold the show for like one week. Hmm. I said, I know they do it again. That if I was there, hmm. I would have seen, you get? Hmm. Or I would have known or something was changing. But what prepared me that my grandmother is not going to be here for a long time is that she started calling me my father's name. Hmm. Mm. She was saying, hey, David, I want, I want, I want. And in this life, I read some, some one or two. My grandmother, eh, she likes to just reading the Bible for her. Like, I've been doing that since I was a child. Right. So she, start, she didn't do that for a long time. Mm. So she now said, David, come, come. I want to come. She now said, read some one or two. And I read it. She now sleep. She now woke up in the middle of the night. You know, you did not read it for me yesterday. She was forgetting everything. Mm. And I was, hey, I will just, when I, I will not cry there. I will not come outside and I will not cry. Then I say, Mom, could not be telling me, don't, she'll be okay, yeah? She's okay, she's old, she's almost 90. I say, ah, let her wait. No. But it was painful. Like, mm. she would just. So I've seen her. Yeah, she was, yeah, in it's front like of you. everything was just fading away. She just asked me, where are you? Wow. In other than, I will not say I'm David. She said, oh, David. She not asked me, because my father has curly hair. She just said, is there a stick She not be touching me. Oh, oh, oh. She not be giving me stories she has told me before. She not be asking me, that is me, about me. Mm. And I will say, it's fine. It's in Porta Court. Ah, you know that? Yeah. Like this person was, yeah. this person was living. Yeah. It was terrible. I mean, obviously, this is a man that cared about. Mm -hmm. This was your mother. No, this was my parent. So your parents, both mother <laughs> and father. Yeah. What's the thing that you missed, miss the most about her? Like when you heard that she passed, what is the one thing that just been like, man, this is gone? It's the the calmness in her counsel. The calmness in her counsel. She her says counsel. things like she can just say things from nowhere. I didn't know that there's a scripture that says by communion with a strange woman is a mighty man reduced to a piece of bread. Mm -hmm. she, said so. she said it in a jaw. Okay, somebody came to my house. I think it's SS1 to come and help follow me and do homework. And she was a girl. She now came back. She now said, with this, my friend. Huh? And I said, oh, hey, what are you doing? She said, you are doing work. She said, hey. She said, you know, it's a book. Somebody had to come. And she said it in a jaw. So me, I'm calm because and she now said, <coughs> say anything for this life that a woman cannot destroy. 
even bullet. No go fit in this trial. She now walked away. Because she, when she comes back, when she don't, you don't take her that, it's going to be different. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. And I told Chene, Chene, mom, we're going home. Mm. Hey, she now left. So, another one is that. She said, I was a child. I don't, all this is no concern me. But now, they are, they are deep truth. She said it in a joke. Abbe, bo. She said, like, come. I don't know. She, out of nowhere, she advised is like, not like you're doing something, then somebody wants to advise you in the moment of the thing that you're doing. No, it's not that. She mm. would say, Abe, come in, didn't you wear the Come on. It means that no ever look person fish. Go soak your last gare. Mm. 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 I felt that one. I felt that I was one. a child, I don't get that thing. Like, no don't look another person, person fish. fish. Go soak gare. Go soak gare. The person might decide yes. to eat and cook soup. Yeah. Nah, yeah, stuck with just your gare. Yes, yes, yes. It's, don't depend on people yeah. too much. Yeah. It, now I'm getting, oh, you know, I'm being afraid. Yeah, I'm, yes. And on the side, what they decided. And every, like, those kind of, they used to pop up from nowhere. Sometimes I would just say, ah, this, this thing is true. Like, I told somebody, I, I don't know how not to love people. Mm. Even the worst of people that I've encountered, I, I would just love them because I grew up in love. <laughs> <laughs>